Hi Libra, welcome to SoFQuest, I'm Spence. Welcome in if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. All right, this is gonna be a reading for July 12th through the 18th. It is a really nice week, I think. We've got Mars and Venus, the celestial lovers, conjuncting together in Leo, the fifth house, the fun house, sun, fun, children, play, romance. I always think of summer fun when I think of the Leo and um, but also artistry and creativity it's a good time for that kind of stuff too and you know it isn't just couples and their love romantic love stuff um, although it's beautiful energy for that it's also the yin yin part of self so even if you're single you know I'm ready to mingle it really is about your yin and yang balance and how you how you marry the internal part of yourself your thoughts and your feelings with the external part, the actions that you take in the world, right? So it's a good time. It's a good time to feel that good energy of, I think, acceptance, radical acceptance and non-judgment, but also just a new feeling of togetherness and wanting to feel lighter and brighter. All right, Libra, earth magic for you, Libra. Earth magic, okay? And that is from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. I'm gonna read from it again, and then we're using the Light Seer's Tarot by Chris Ann, all right? I'm pulling your nine cards now, so hey, why don't you settle in with me? Relax, take some deep breaths, plant your feet on the floor if you can, or sit how you like, <laughs> whatever makes you feel better and comfortable. And take some deep cleansing breaths to bring down the cortisol. Drop your shoulders. I did a lot of shuffling beforehand, so I'm just gonna cut your deck at this point. All right, let's get started. Release the tension. Bring up the serotonin and dopamine levels. All right, I am going to take a look at your nine card spread. I'm gonna read the Oracle for you, and we're going to go through the nine cards horizontally, vertically, and big picture. All right? Very good. Okay. Libra. Well, that's excellent. If I'm going to get that card, I'm going to get the other card. <laughs> uh, readers probably know what I'm saying. All right, very good. You have four. Major Arcana, yes, no, five. Five out of ten Major Arcana. Wow, big stuff happening, Libra, you're in your world, because I think that you're, you know, you're, you're working on some real deep stuff, like ego, super ego id stuff, which makes perfect sense with Venus and Mars in Leo about the ego construct which is really our personality construct and how we use our energy in the world relating to others, our sense of self. All right, and how we shine in the world, right? All right, you've got both the sun and the moon. That's big. And you've got devil and strength card, and this conquers that. So that's just dealing with inner stuff and De dealing with it, like actually conquering a fear or self-doubt. It could be a lot of things and will be different things for different people. Um, but it's because you're thinking very deeply at the bottom of the deck with this hanged man. Very deeply about things. All right, earth magic number one. Earth magic. All right, here we go. Libra. Key concepts. Being grounded in nature. The quiet, dark place where all things begin, where essence is first ignited before manifestation, knowing you are a part of the earth and she is a part of you. Earth magic speaks to the intrinsic relationship that you and all living things have with the consciousness of the earth, also known as Gaia. Imagine the oak tree that begins its journey as an acorn, gathering the life force energy life force energy it needs from the earth so it can sprout up from the ground. Because you're a part of nature, you follow the same cycle of manifestation. 
everything you are, your evolution, and the successful manifestation of your dreams begin below the surface of consciousness until an idea comes. Conviction takes hold and something meaningful can be planted. Be still for a moment, quiet your thoughts, and imagine anchoring your energy to the sacred quality of being a part of this living earth. Do this mindfully to connect to the divine intelligence with the power to create the perfect form from the essence of a tiny spark of life. Indeed, this is miraculous. The message now is to trust that the seeds you've planted in your field of dreams are in good hands. The earth is a conscious, divine source of love that is doing its part on your behalf. Slow down, take in the beauty of your life right now, and trust that what you are intending is being nourished and is growing. There will be plenty of time later to tend to your garden, to water it and weed it. The great magic is germinating underground, working its way to the surface to deliver more blessings than you could imagine. Let it. Wow. The germination, the germination of it, the gestation of it. Something inside of you that's meant to be a part of your life. Something that was written into the code of your being, your DNA, your astrology. To come here to this earth and do what it is that you are meant to do. And you are contemplating all of these things by looking at the things that you don't understand. Look at these esoteric symbols here on the bottom. You know, they're symbols that mean something. They're runes. They're, they're esoteric. They're conceptual. And you're looking thing. And you look, at she's above the water. You're looking at the conceptual ideas of understanding yourself on a more emotional basis. Because there's a germinating seed that's about to be planted in your life. It's here now. It's already germinating. It's already sprouting roots. It's something you've wa wanted. You've wished for it. You've asked for it. This is the wish fulfilled card. It's here. It's here and it's in you. That's, inc that's incredible. I love that. But because it's so powerful, because the spark, the energy that it takes to bring life to something, when something is about to manifest in your life, the energy that it takes at first begins with a moment of stillness, and maybe a little bit of discomfort in that stillness. You know, have you ever walked in the woods and it's almost too quiet or too noisy? Because you're hearing all the animals and the crickets and the this and the that, right? One or the other, it might make you uncomfortable because it's new landscape. And I think that you're, you're in a place of that's maybe new landscape. That's interesting. All right, so Six of Pentacles. You are being given an opportunity right now. And it's asking you to be in the state of reciprocity where giving and receiving, caring and sharing, having the open heart and open mind that is required for for the spirit of gratitude to put enough energy to make the seed grow. So, in other words, when we are vibrating at that level, when our cellular, our cellular makeup is vibrating at the level of birthing and bursting forth new life, new energy, to do something new, to make our brains learn something new, especially when we're adults, right? It takes even more energy for us to learn something new. When you're children, you sponge it up. But when you're an adult, you really have to focus. So there's new energy, and it takes great energy to make something new happen. You're being helped, right? The universe has your back. You're being gifted with the energy of opportunity. This is making you feel like, woo, loving life. I'm loving life. I'm learning something new. It's giving me these great ideas. 
You're feeling alive again. Revitalized. This is feeling revitalized and open and having a spirit of gratitude. It, that's beautiful. Okay. What this, I think, is doing, because you took time to really think about something, about needing a change, and then manifested that change to come, because here it is. It's something you wished for, okay? You manifest it, so now that it's here, it's like, woo, I'm excited. I can just you know, go about the beat of my own drum, I'm excited, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling happier, I'm more excited about my life, and my work, what I do every day, what I practice and doing, learning and mastering, what I'm trying to perfect or what I'm trying, you know, to make great, whatever you're doing, trying to make great, you're excited about doing it. And then perhaps a part of you, an older part of you, the part of you that was conditioned to make you doubt or make you fear or tempt you to go back to an old way of doing things, something comes up. The devil card is about our inner issues and the way that we get tempted into old behaviors that keep us strung up, head by, you know, held by strings, someone pulling our strings. It's being controlled by something that isn't good for you. So it could be a thousand things, obviously, right? We can all be addicted to tech, we could be addicted to technology, gaming, alcohol, drugs, bad relationships, codependency, right? A, a thousand things. It can also just be really like self-limiting beliefs. The part of you that doubts yourself. Oh, you're feeling good now, huh? You think you're gonna do good, but um, well, it can be anything. It can be the voice in your head of some, some naysayer that said something to you once, you know, and scarred you for life. And yet it comes up. That voice can come back up in your head and make you doubt yourself, right? And want to go do something to kind of avoid the feeling. That's why this card means that it's, it can be obsessive because it pulls us back. It makes us backslide into something that is an old habit that just does not help us. So, you think about it. And maybe what it is, is just feeling. Maybe, Libra, it's going into your feelings and they, it scares the heck out of you to go that deep. Maybe you drown. Maybe you feel like you're drowning in the season of cancer because of, you know, ruled by the moon, deep feelings, and you're like, oh, please bring the sun. I can't wait for Leo season. <laughs> Right? I'm sorry, this way. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing, Libra. You're like, I'm done with cancer season. I don't want to feel anything else. I've done all my inner work and I've like handled this and I've conquered that bitch, you know. And you're like, I want Leo season. <laughs> so that's good, right? The change is here. Now we've got Venus and Mars conjunct in Leo. You're going to feel better. It, that still happens in cancer season. Yes, calendar-wise, it's still cancer season. It's not Leo season until July 22nd. But the inner planets can move faster. So we've already got Mars and Venus moved in the in conjuncting in Leo with the moon, right? So we're It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. You're conquering something here about yourself. Self-doubt, I want to say. And that's because of what I'm seeing on the vertical. Let's do that. Okay. 6 of pentacles openly sharing and caring, having a spirit of gratitude, feeling positive, right? We can feel this way and do this when we're feeling this way, positive. And you'd much rather feel this than to go down deep into your feels, but maybe it's because you had to do this. You had to ask yourself, what is down there. What is this that I have shoved down into my feelings for so long, into my subconscious not wanting to deal with, uh, avoiding and denying, you know, that kept me held back and, you know, oppressed somehow. If I didn't do that, 
maybe I wouldn't have found this new energy. Maybe this new energy wouldn't have come in and given me the spark to change something in my life, to manifest something brand new, to get excited to not naysay myself anymore, to not doubt myself anymore, and to do this, and to work on myself in that way, so that I could feel like this with others in my life, so that I could have more of that synergy thing going, right? Sharing and caring, moving forward, more, more positive emotional well-being. Sharing your emotions more. Moving forward in your life doing that. Which makes you more loving. It helps you to find a kind of mastery in your life where, you know, your everyday life, you are loving and being loved. That brings happiness and joy and authenticity. The sun is Leo. It's that authentic, true, sun, solar self. I am going to be me. Free to be me. Warts and all, flaws and all, I'm me. Right? And this is also, by the way, if this has anything to do with work, since the Eight of Pentacles is in the center of the reading, Libra, because I saw for you that last week, and if you were waiting on, this, on a new job, the job you wanted and you got it, it's looking good. So, you might not be sure about the salary moving forward. You're like, I don't know, the moon, if, if this is work, okay? I'm, at first, I'm, I was seeing love and self-love, but it can also be work and just loving the new job and being happy there, okay, in the now. And then going forward, asking yourself, wait, you know, am I going to have to, like, deal with the same things I always had to deal with or... Am I going to be able to conquer that? Because this, the, this is self-mastery, conquering the ego, conquering the ego, right? Because you're of learning, what you've learned, conquering the part of yourself, the ego construct that says, I'm not good enough. I doubt that'll happen. Well, people always show you, you know, they can't be trusted. It's like you, you hear how people talk sometimes about others. And that, that's just very negative. They don't have a lot of faith in other people or faith in love or faith in life even. So Libra, um, you know, if you used to talk that way in whatever way, I hope that you've really seen things in a new light because these cards are amazing. You've got a lot of really happy, excited cards here about, you know, taking this forward with an open heart. And Libra, I'm excited for you. I think that that's beautiful. Let it germinate. Because the universe is trying to work with you to allow something inside of you that, is, that needs to germinate to sprout and go from a sprout, you know, to a plant, to a bush, to a tree. <laughs> Longevity. Something here. Long-term change, I think, is happening for you with these major arcana cards. And it's yin-yang. Yeah, and moving from Cancer into Leo. Okay? So, it's happening now. Believe in yourself. Walk the walk and walk your talk. All right. Thank you so much, Libra. Give me a thumb up if you like the video, please. And um, if you want to, subscribe and click on the bell. You'll get notified when I put up your next week's videos. If you're interested in hearing your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other readings, then please do go to my uh, weekly readings playlist, and then you can just pull them all up and watch the, the signs you're interested in. Thank you. Thank you so much, Libra. I'll talk to you again next week.